Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. We're going to do a video reaction to Bandmade. It's a, another documentary. Of, this one is for Akane. So let's check it out. What the hell is this? That was way too loud. That can't be Akane, <laughs> Sorry about is it? Alright. Who is the next one? DJ? Oh. Nah. What? She was the one. Wait. Question. For the life of me, I never understood DJ. DJs used to be in radio stations and they used to play records. I never understood DJs in clubs. I'm, I mean, with all the, like, what we just saw with her with the headphone in her ear and they do the mixing and all, uh, scratching and all this other stuff. I never could understand that. I don't, I don't know what the big deal is. You just put on a record and play the music. Um, maybe I'm missing something. I'm sure one of you guys is going to let me know. Wait, she's also <laughs> a DJ? Really? Okay then. Let's talk about Akane. 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 Great drummer. Float. Akane was born on December 14th in Hyogo, a prefecture very close to oh. Osaka. She lived with her mother, her stepfather, and for a short period of time with her stepbrother, who is 11 oh. years older. During her youngest years, Akane was very unsociable and the one to do whatever she wanted, like leaving kindergarten to go home or not participating really? in games and activities with the other kids. A rebellious was, girl, wasn't she? <laughs> as she likes to say while laughing, a real problem child. Note that in Japan, children go to school and come back home on their own very early, mm. sometimes at three or four. Over the years, she became more and more friendly and discovered that talking to other people wasn't that bad after all. <laughs> During her school years, she loved home economics and art, but hated studying. She was also bad at physical activities. Who would have thought? Being a huge fan of manga, Akane was easily influenced by... Is manga uh, a form of cartoons like anime? the Prince of Tennis or Slam Dunk to try different sports, but but soon realized that her motivation <laughs> was gone pretty quickly. She's the kind of person who wants to try everything that could interest her, but nothing lasted very long, except one thing. And this is something that we've seen in Psyche and Konami's childhood. Akane has loved music since she was very little. For her, it started with piano in kindergarten, and lasted a few years before she stopped because the joy wasn't there mm. anymore. Although, she can still play some songs on the piano, even today. Wow. She can play better than me. She continued for five years with trombone, but it wasn't something she saw herself pursuing. At the end of her trombonist career, she realized that a lot of her friends joined bands, so she went to a lot of live performances and music festivals with them. That's how the idea of being in a band started to grow in Akane's head. So she joined the k Club to form a band. To get an idea of what it was like, you can watch the anime k -On. Akane started with the guitar, but soon realized that her hands were too small to play. And she it was plays a, a lot of instruments. I'm, I'm naive. I, I just always assume, which is the mistake, assume that whatever instrument you're used to seeing them playing is the only instrument they know how to play. I know, stupid, but that's the way I thought. Now I know better but soon realized that her hands were too small to play, and it was impossible for her to continue. 
The bass was off the table too, as you can imagine, and she's no singer, at least according to her, so what's left? Yes, drums. Drums. And once Akane tried a drum kit, she felt that that was it. While learning drums, she started to listen to rock bands like El Garden and Bump of Chicken to end up making covers of their songs. She also learned about the band Maximum the Hormo and their female drummer, Now. Akane was stunned to discover that the drummer of this hard rockin' band was not a man. This was the kind of drummer she wanted to become. So she kept this picture of a strong female drummer in her mind as a role model. Mm. It was, and still is, important to Akane to have an impact on anyone who thinks that a female drummer can only play soft and not hard. With this image in mind, she practiced every week at her school, the only place that had a drum kit available, as she didn't own one. The other problem was that she was alone in her club, so she could only practice by herself. By the end of her second Is it a club when you're the only member? By the end of her second year, she wanted to do a graduation live Think performance. About that. So she gathered some of her friends from her old symphonic band days and performed a copy of the group Pez, a Japanese instrumental band consisting of a trumpet, a saxophone, a double bass, a keyboard vocalist, and of course, drums. You might be surprised to learn that Akane wanted to work as a hairdresser after graduation. But as she started drums and was 100% committed to improve her playing skills, she completely changed her mind and instead wanted to enroll in a music school. Against the will of her teacher, but with the support of her parents, Akane went to the good parents, very good parents. Support your children's dreams as much as you can. Good thing that the parents backed her up and ignored the teacher or her teachers. Because if she had listened to her teachers, most of us would have never heard of her. And who knows what would, who would have been in the band and how good the band would have been. You know, we only know how good they are now because she's in the band. If she wasn't, maybe they'd be better, maybe they'd be worse. I personally think they're better with her. Just my thought. Tokyo School of Music for two years to follow her passion. She was surrounded by talented musicians who wanted to become professional. Even though she was just a beginner in her class, she worked very hard and played every day to catch up with the other students. It was during those years that she joined a band who did a combined live show with another band featuring the one and only Konami. Konami. She immediately acknowledged how good Konami was with the guitar and wanted to know more about her. It turned out that they lived very close from each other, so cool. they quickly became friends. Konami used to ask Akane to play drums on her demos before sending them to record companies. Unfortunately, Akane's band didn't stay together very long, and she was back to square one. But Akane was resourceful, so she started a part-time job as a waitress in a music restaurant in Yokohama. She could watch live performances and sometimes have a sit behind the kit to play when the restaurant... Is it just me or do you guys agree? It's weird seeing her out of uh, the maid outfit. I'm just so used to her in it. And she does look a lot better without that little hat that she used to wear in the beginning in the group's infancy, you know, that little thing. She looks better without it. Good thing she got rid of it. Closed for the day. She told the manager that she plays drums, so he asked if she could play right now. And she did. Akane played Highway Star from Deep Purple. Don't know that. And the manager 
agreed to let her play. He even offered to train her. From that moment, Akane trained every day to improve her skills and become a better drummer. We are now in 2013 and Bandmade is actively looking for three female musicians to join a rock band while wearing maid outfits. I say three because at this time they weren't searching for a lead vocalist yet. Our Little Pigeon already recruited Konami, so the band was looking for a drummer and a bassist. As you can imagine, Konami talked to Akane about this opportunity. She trusted her with her demos, so why shouldn't she? At first, Konami mentioned the label and Akane was excited, until Konami revealed that they are recruiting for an all-girls band. In case you wonder, she hadn't even mentioned the part where they would all have to be dressed in maid outfits. Akane had too many bad experiences from all-girl bands, mm. so she wasn't really thrilled about this idea. But the restaurant she was working at was about to close for good, so she took some time to think about it and finally decided to join Konami. What about the maid outfit, you would ask? Well, she was reluctant at first, but how do you know that it's bad without even trying? True. After all, if Konami is already there, it'll be okay, right? So she was willing to give it a try anyway. Konami sent her some demos, and Akane found the music really cool right away. And the image of an all-girls band dressed like maids playing this kind of music was really interesting for her. She felt that her reluctance against all-girl bands and maid outfits was fading away as her motivation kept growing. Just a few months later, a five-members acoustic band was created under the name Mochi to Cheese. What's the link with Akane, you could ask? Well, Akane and Konami were both part of this side band with three members from the band Predia, an idol group Predia? formed in 2010 under the same agency as Bandmate. Predia, is that a good group? Should I do a reaction on them? Let me know. Platinum Passport. They started to perform in the streets with acoustic covers and even performed live a few times over the two years of activity. The band also covered Forward, a song from Bandmate. A single was released in September 2015, but only two months later, they sent their last tweet and posted their last... So they they were in Bandmate, and then they, while they were officially in Bandmate, they were in another group? Did I understand that correctly? Do you guys see it that way, or am I missing something? Is this that this little group was before Bandmade. I think I got it right, but let me know. Last entry in their blog. After that, we did not hear from Mochi to Cheese again. Their YouTube channel is still available, so you can at least watch a fraction of their performances. Let's get back to Bandmade. With all those years of practice, Akane had a solid base of drumming to bring to the band, but she didn't have a lot of practice with the twin pedals on high paced songs. She did buy one when she was in high school, but she gave up pretty quickly, only to come back on it later and work as much as she could to try and master it. With Bandmade, Akane had to use twin pedals for the first time with Thrill a painful first experience for her, but the feedback was incredible, so the band members wanted to add more twin pedals in the next songs over the years. This is something that Akane wanted to do as well, but remember that from 2016, the songs are written by Konami. She had a, uh, one thing I noticed, and this is with all of them that I've, that I've watched for, uh, documentaries about them, they all have positive attitude like 
they are not discouraged. They look at it as a challenge and that they will overcome or at least try their best to overcome it. I, that's what I've noticed. And Konami loves fast-paced rhythm. I think it's 225. Oh, <laughs> Usually, Konami's songs are based at about 170 beats per minute, but Akane struggled to play the twin pedals over 130 beats per minute because of her lack of solid practice on twin pedaling. But she wouldn't be defeated that easily. Band Made is a hard rock band. They needed to be hard on their music, and Akane had to be able to play faster. So what do you think she did? She thought about how she moves her legs and found ways to improve her movements to be able to play faster. And what's the best way to do it? Practice, 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 practice. muscle memory. Akane tried to move her legs every time and everywhere she could as if she was playing the twin pedals, so her legs remembered those movements. She was mm. also pushed by Konami, who kept including a lot of twin pedals in her songs. What a great friend, huh? <laughs> You're my friend, but I'm going to give you some challenge. Succeed. And she did. And she did. And she did. A challenge that Akane couldn't refuse to face, as she is not the type to admit that she can't keep up with a song. After a lot of work, and thinking about her playstyle, Akane is now able to use twin pedals anytime in any song. Did you know that Band Maid performed with a man once? No? Do you want to know more about this story? Of course you do. It was in 2015, on December 4th really? to be exact, at the Shinjuku Club Science, that Akane was replaced by a male drummer for a performance. Why, you might ask? Akane mentioned yes, in an interview around that time that she just had an injury and she needed time to rest and heal. Don't worry, it wasn't a life or death situation as Akane came to this performance disguised as a staff member to support her band. <laughs> She tweeted two months later with a photo of her holding a lot of drumsticks with messages written from fans from all over the world. Band Made has the best community of fans. Am I right? Now, I'm sure that many of you maniacs know that Akane likes to eat. A lot. She can eat so 120 heard. bowls of soba when on average a man eats 70 bowls and a woman 50 or even 30 plates at a Kaiten Sushi, a restaurant where plates of sushi are placed on a con uh, Where the hell does she put it? That's a lot of food. Veyer belt that winds through the restaurant and moves past every table, counter, and seat. And believe me when I tell you that 30 is a lot. She loves eating food so much that you can see her eating in a lot of the music videos over the years. I'll bet she really enjoyed filming those. <laughs> Akane was invited for a few episodes of Band Made Nippon, and they played a game where Miku and Saiki had to guess her favorite food outside of Japan. At the creation of Band Maid, Akane was designated as the leader as she appeared to be the most responsible. But now, every member has a different role well, equally good. important, and having a leader was just not relevant anymore. Akane is also famously known for goofing around every chance she gets. <laughs> See? 
even during live performances. And she's not the only one, as the other band members try to make her laugh by pulling faces. Sometimes it gives us some very special moments to watch. And sometimes it just works too well. Band Maid is really putting on a show when it comes to live performances because these five hard rockin' maids are really enjoying themselves, don't you think? All right, it's time to talk about Akane's drum style. But let's keep it simple, shall we? And as I didn't become a musician since our last video on Konami, I will let today's special guests talk to you about this very interesting subject. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to hear what they have to say about Akane. Let's go. Bandmade is a group of individuals that are just such heavy hitters on their instruments. When they come together, the overall sound of the ensemble is amazing. The rhythms, the harmonies, the quality of the vocals, the songwriting, this the skill sets of how everything is woven together is a very amazing listening experience. I've only seen the videos, but from moment one, it had me hooked. Now, Akane's drumming is when you see someone that is so fluid and relaxed and they're playing at such a high velocity and the demand is so great, uh, the level of respect is just is top. It is top for me. So she has a way of laying back in the groove and just flowing so well, but a lot of the times these tempos are burning, like they're going fast, but she has this thing where it's like effortless mastery. She lays back, there's all these augmentations and interactions within the orchestration of the song with everybody else. Like there's always these complicated things happening, but when you watch her play, the legato, like it's smooth. It's like, you don't really notice how difficult everything is. And for me, that's the major selling point because anytime something seems like smooth and easy, it's not. It's because the person is so good they put in so many thousands of hours on their instrument and their ability to have all that ensemble listening go on allows them to be that effortless mastery that I just brought up. I will never get tired of watching Akane play. I mean, to be just completely honest, it's inspirational and it just makes me want to be a better musician. Akane is a very impressive musician for many reasons. One of them is her constant evolving. It's almost a rule among musicians to get to a certain level and then stop because that's good enough. But there's no such thing as good enough for Akane. She's constantly getting better, not only in her skills as a player, but also as a writer. There's not a single dull moment in her writing. There's always something different and interesting and creative happening. Her creativity has no limits. She almost never repeats herself. That thing where the second verse is completely different from the first, but you can still tell it's the same thing. It represents the same thing. That's very impressive writing. Akane is a drummer's drummer, but she's also everybody's drummer. What I mean by that is to someone who's not familiar with the drums, she sounds very impressive, she is, but it's not impenetrable, it's not tedious or self-serving. She's always serving the music, you can always groove to it. But when you do know what she's doing, your mind goes blank for a second, because you can write these incredibly intricate parts that are also beautiful. A recent example of that is in Influenza, the transition that goes from first chorus to the second verse, and that whole part afterwards with the cross text and everything, I think they call it the A melody. But there's so much happening. What this guy saying, I have to take his word for it. Just like I said, I'm not a musician. I dabbled a little bit with guitar, but that's about it. And um, so I'm one of those people that I think she's impressive, but I, I don't have the technique skills knowledge I should say to realize how good she is so I fall in that camp that he's referring to that it's so fast it's so different and not different from the first verse different from everything I ever heard from her there's more music in those what 15 seconds than in 99.99 percent .99 of all music ever recorded and you can still dance to it then you see her playing live doesn't even look like she's doing anything that hard doesn't call attention to herself, she just smiles and plays impossible. She hits very, very, very hard with so little effort. She's so fast, she's so precise, but she's also expressive. This feeling in her playing, and that's what, what music is or, or should be, is taking your instrument 
and amplifying your emotions to touch people's hearts. Akane does that. Uh, she hits very hard with incredible speed and precision, but she's also putting uh, herself, her feelings, into into her music. She's she's joy, she's happiness, fun to be around. She jokes around, she says random things, and her playing is also like that. Her her drumming, her music is joyous, is happy, is uh, pleasurable and surprising, and connects the songs. And she's constantly getting better at it, and that's very impressive. Where do I even begin with Akane? Oh, I've tried covering her drums so many times. Never really got them right because they're so complex. She's definitely the hardest drummer I've ever tried to cover. The skills required alone are insane, but it's not only the skill, it also requires an insane amount of memory skills because she's constantly changing up her drum patterns, keeping things fresh, it never gets stagnant, but it's so hard to remember all the different little changes she makes. Um, and somehow she's still able to smile through all of it while she's playing. She plays with so much power, so much energy, and perfectly complements all the other instruments around her. You can tell from what she's playing that she listens to her fellow bandmates and does what she can to accentuate their parts instead of just playing underneath them or playing over them. She gives the song exactly what it needs. Such a well-rounded drummer. Okay, I'll set up now. Once again, I've been telling you the story of someone who has been in love with music since forever and tried many instruments until she found the one that was perfect for her, drums. Even though she was alone in her club during high school, Without a drum kit to practice on at home, Akane did her best to learn the basics by herself and was able to join a music school and pursue her goal of becoming a professional musician. From a child who wanted to try everything but couldn't find the motivation to keep at it, to a truly passionate musician, Akane kept doing her best to live for and from music. Working at a music restaurant to end up playing drums there, Joining band made with Konami and within this already incredible band, learning and evolving towards this image of a strong hard rock female drummer she always wanted to be associated with. Akane wanted to prove that gender has nothing to do with her drumming and how hard bandmaid's music is. And we can all agree that she does this every time she hits her drums. No matter how difficult it was, no matter how many obstacles she faced, Akane destroyed everything in her way so she could achieve what makes her special as a person and a drummer. That was good. That was real good. So I know now. Um, yeah, originally I, I, she was considered the leader of the group. I remember, if you guys have been following my channel, I did a reaction where they got interviewed by a, a Japanese sh a TV show. And they mentioned that she was the leader of the group. They voted her to be the leader. So obviously this is uh, much time after that, and it's fair enough to make it that everybody has a role in the group. And I'm glad that they get along so well. I understand her concern about being in a, an all-female group, because don't want to be sexist, guys, girls, ladies, but sometimes when a group of women get together, it, it does emotions get a little high sometimes, and it's 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 known let's put it that way at least here in the states it's known that happens not all the time but it's not unusual let's put it that way it's not unusual things go a little awry so it's good to see that they've been together for 10 plus years they as far as i can tell going strong and it's great that you know that they're i think they're like a family and I think I like to think I would like to think they have each other's back and support each other, you know. And uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this. 
I, I, I'm learning something new every time, and it's been a minute since I've done anything to do with band media, and I apologize. Uh, I, I just have so many other things I have to do, too. So I hope you understand. Until next time, you guys take care of yourself and the ones you love. Arigato. Sayonara. Sayonara.